Right, so today's video is actually a little bit different um, because it's not something that I normally do on my channel. Basically, if any of you guys have been following, I did my exams in January and I released an exam vlog, um, exam preparation vlog uh, after I'd done my exams. And this week I got my exam results and it was kind of what I was expecting to be honest because uh, even though in the preparation exam preparation vlog it looked like I was doing a lot of work which I was but unfortunately because I left my revision too late it wasn't enough work to pass my exams so yeah so basically I failed my exams as you can uh, tell from the title of the this video now the pass mark for the exam was something like 51.8% and I got 50. 3%, so I was like 1.5% of passing the exam. Now, it is a January exam, so it's not as important as the main exam in when I think that one's in May or June time, but even though like it's a small exam, it still is important because if I fail this, then that means I have to work harder in my next exam to uh, make sure that I pass. So for me, it wasn't much of a surprise because um, in my first term of, universe, of, of second year, like I wasn't as focused on my studies as I should have been um, but it was probably because I was finding second year quite difficult because um, the content in second year of medicine compared to first year medicine is a lot more um, so it's, it's quite hard to handle and deal with and then you've got on top of that you've got your e-learning modules set by the government and you've got to do your e-learning tests online and then you've got your assignments to get on with and then you've got like um, placements and then GP visits and then you've got a patient to visit every couple of weeks and and like there's so much going on that like you sometimes forget to do your revision for the exams so like ideally I should have started my revision in November like beginning of November and I would have passed my January exams but I ended up starting my revision I think it was like two weeks before the exam and I thought I could cram it all in and it kind of worked because like I was only 1.5% off the past month but like if I had given it a few like a few more weeks of work then I would have actually passed the exam. I think I think the main places where I went wrong in first term was like for example I used to come back from lectures and um, my flatmates would be like chilling playing FIFA so obviously I used to just join in and because it was my first year living in a house with my my closest friends at uni like you get you're still getting used to it and it was because it was my first term as well living in a house with them you're still getting used to it and you're adjusting and like I used to come home I'd be playing like I'd tell myself yeah just one game of FIFA and then I'll do some work but then one game leads to two games and then a rematch and then three games and then the other housemate wants to play and then and then basically you look at the time and then you've you've lost about three hours now imagine I finish lectures at five, I come home, eat six, six o'clock, and then three hours gone, that's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, you're a bit tired, you don't want to do any work, so then you just watch a movie, or you just watch TV or whatever. So then we started watching movies, and basically that's how my first term went. So we were watching movies, it was either gym, FIFA, movies, um, food. It, there wasn't much work getting done. And, and everyone was saying, oh, like, even on the vlogs, everyone was saying, like, oh, Raihan, you make the, you make medicine look so easy and all of this and all of that. But it's not easy. And, like, because I was, because I spent my first term doing, like, just chilling, that's why I failed my exam. So, so anyways, after the exam, after the exam, uh, I, I kind of knew I failed because when I was sitting the exam, right, like, imagine I missed out completely. I didn't even revise at all the brain thinking, yeah, they're not going to ask many questions on it. Open up the exam, first question, was, or the first or the second question was on the brain. So I was like, oh, well, and then it just got worse. So I kind of knew that I failed my exam um, by the end of it. Yeah, as I was saying, after the exam, like I came home and I was telling myself, right, so now that, I'm, now that I know I've failed this exam, I need to make a few changes to what I've been doing or the way I've been spending my first term and then I told myself, right, so I'm gonna have to go to the library every day after lectures. And I've also cut down on FIFA, unfortunately. Um, I don't play as much FIFA, just on the weekends uh, sometimes. Um, football, I don't play as much football now. Um, 
before I think we used to play like two or three times a week sometimes so now it's like once a week or once every two weeks uh, the gym like I'm hardly going to the gym now it's not a good thing but like if I want to pass my May exam then I'm gonna have to cut down on loads of things like that those are the reasons why I failed my exams and the changes that I've made to sort of hopefully pass my May exams to be honest like I seem happy in this video even though I fa I've just failed my medicine exam but it's for me like I when I sat the exam like I knew I failed the exam so I was like right like from that day on, I had to make those changes to me because I knew I failed it's like it's not much of a big deal I kind of knew it I was expecting it and, and now I've got it and it's just like you learn from that but yeah the whole purpose of this video was to basically say that like anyone can fail their exams by failing your exam it's not the end of the world like for example when I was doing A levels I got I done so bad in my economics A levels. I, I got like a D in my in AS, but then like just because you do bad in your AS doesn't mean like you give up and then find out where you went wrong, make a few changes to your to your lifestyle or your or, or to your habits, and then sort of work on that and then improve yourself and then hopefully for the next exam, if you've got another chance, then you can see the effect of those changes basically. So. I'm hoping that because of these changes that I've made and because I'm going to be spending more time in the library reading books and and doing work, hopefully, um, then hopefully I should pass my May exams, but fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.